Hi, and welcome to this at-home guide to digital learning, looking at Google Classroom. Uh, Google Classroom is a virtual classroom where uh, teachers can share assignments, materials, announcements with students. That's a place where students go to find all of these things, and they can also submit their assignments through it. So let's get started looking at uh, Google Classroom. So there are two ways that students can join a Google Classroom. So let's look at the first way. All right. So the, so the first important piece is to ensure that the student is logged in with an at Delta Learns Google account. If you're logged in with a personal Gmail account, you won't be able to access the classroom. So let's just ensure that. And here it is. It says uh, tech help at Delta Learn. So we're in the right account. So let's go to Google Classroom. Now we can find it in the waffle, or we can type it in the Omnibar as classroom.google.com. But let's use this. So in this case, a teacher has provided me with an invite. Once I have an invite, I can click on the join to join that class. Once I join, I'm in that class. Another way a teacher might um, in, or include me in the class is by providing me with a code. In this case, student self-enroll. And this method, a code is shared with a, with a student via email or some other form of communication, and the student enters that code. So this time, let's try with another student. So once again, we ensure that it's a Delta Learns account. Excellent. Go to classroom.google.com or on the waffle. Now, the first time we go into the classroom, this is the student's first time, they may be presented with this. And it's, it's an, uh, it just wants to confirm that they are selecting the proper account. I check down here to make sure that this is me. Yes, this is Tech Help 3. It's my Delta Learns account. And then I continue. It asks if I'm a teacher or I'm a student. I'm a student. This may or may not pop up. And then I need to join the class. And I join the class by entering a code. So the teacher would have shared a code with me. So I'm just going to get the code that the teacher shared with me. And this code is entered. In all cases, the code uh, it consists of lowercase letters and usually a digit. I now join. Once again, I'm in the classroom. And often, when it's our first time in any uh, Google environment, any of their tools, there's often these pop-ups that act as tutorials that help me understand. So when we first enter the classroom, we end up on what is called the stream page. And the stream page is a page where a teacher might post announcements, might post assignments, or there might even be a discussion board going on. It, that's determined by the teacher, whether that function is on or off. But it's a good place to see what's coming up. Also shows on the far left, what are my upcoming uh, assignments? Let's jump to these tabs at the top. So we have three tabs. Classwork and people. People includes the teacher that might be that is in my class. If I have to directly email that teacher, I can easily email them strip right from here. And then classwork is where we'll be doing most of our work. Classwork is where most of the time will be spent by students. So here it says it talks about these topic filters, and these topic filters are a way of organizing a classroom. So in this case, the classroom is organized among topics. So we have some science, we have some social studies, we have some English, we have some resources. It's organized here. Now, at times, this classroom might have a number of, of assignments and various resources that becomes quite lengthy and hard to navigate by looking at all of it. So we can sort through. So we can just go to social studies and just see our social studies, or we can see all our topics. So let's look at an assignment. So in within classroom, teachers can provide quizzes, they can provide materials, but in most cases, assignments will be assigned. So let's look at this, this assignment right here. So when we're in the assignment, we open it and we click on view assignment. Most assignments will have a title, they'll have some instructions, and then at the end, here's the reminder that we're gonna have to turn it in. I'll just say, got it. So in this case, it says watch a video, read the information on the site, take note, and, or probably meant to say take notes, and then complete the attached document. And I can see that there's an attached document right here. So here's a video. 
So a video was attached. And so if I click on that, I will be taken to a YouTube video. Here's a website. If I click on that, it'll take me right to the website. Sometimes there might be a rubric. So in this case, there's a, a rubric that's not quite completed, but a rubric might be there with criteria for the student. So in this case, um, there's also an assignment. So I'm just going to click on that assignment. Now, the assignment's going to open up in a Google Doc in this case. That's what was assigned. You'll see on the top right, it's actually put the name of this student, which is Tech Help 2, as well as the name of the assignment, SALT. That's all done for the student. So there might be some questions. And so the first question is, oops, I just need to click on that. Um, the first question is, where does most of the salt in the world come from? And based on my research, I was able to determine that it, most of it comes from China. So after I complete the assignment, there's a turn in button. And so I'm going to click on turn it in. OK. Now, after I turn it in, I'm back to this point, and I have to turn it in again. So I'm going to click on Turn It In. And it asks me again, do you want to turn it in? So there's three clicks of the turn in, just to really ensure that you want to turn it in. So I'm going to turn that in. Now, one of the options that Classroom provides students is to unsubmit work. So perhaps I've gone home, I, I looked at that video again, I read the website, and I realized, ah, oh, I think I've made some mistakes. So I can always go back to classroom and look at this again. So let's say I, you know, the student has gone home, goes to classwork, comes back to this assignment. There it is, it's still there. I go to view it, and that assignment is still there. I can so the student can still unsubmit it. The student can only unsubmit up until the point that the teacher has collected and started to assess the assignment. So I'm gonna unsubmit unsubmit, and then I can just click on the document. And here's my assignment. I can add more. Just put my name on the top right here. Just in case. All right, and then once again, there's that turn in button. So I'm gonna click on turn in. It's gonna bounce around. It's gonna pop back here, turn in and turn in. Now on the teacher's side, once it's turned in, the teacher is going to perhaps add some comments and then return the assignment. So in this case, I can see that this one's been turned in. It's Tech Help 2. Let's go take a look at it. And in this case, the teacher is going to leave a comment right here. Let's say that that's correct. Comment. The teacher might also put some final comments on it, but then they'll return it to the student. So I'm going to return this to the student. And yes, I want it returned. And I'm just going to refresh this. So now I'm back in the uh, student's classroom. I'm just going to refresh it. And the student can go into classwork. And here's another one of those pop-ups where we can view all our work and tra track it. So all of our work would be in there. And so the student can now go in. Now the student will get a notification via email as well that the, the assignment's been returned. And the student can go in, can view the assignment once more. We can talk with the teacher. So if we wanted to um, do something because it's now been returned. And we can see that there's the comment on the side there, and the student will see that. Also, the student will be able to see how it was assessed and how it was marked. Um, if they, if, um, and they also have the opportunity to resubmit if the teacher allows them to resubmit it after it's been um, 
handed back to them. So here would be the web, no or sorry, the um, <laughs> the presentation rubric, and uh, the assessment would be done via that. So that's a little bit about Google uh, Classroom, how students submit assignments, how they find their assignments, and then how they find them when they're returned. Hopefully that helps you with Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.